The Durham Police Department has now changed how it conducts drug investigations after one of their own officers was exposed to fentanyl. The department says it's seen a surge in the mixing of fentanyl with other drugs since 2020. As Akila Davis reports, officers say they see the impact on Bull City streets every day. It's one of the deadliest drug epidemics and continues to claim thousands of lives. Durham police are even seeing the dangerous surge in fentanyl use in the Bull City. Every day. That's Lieutenant Brad Fry with the Organized Crime Division. Every day we are dealing with it as an organization, as a community, we're dealing with it in some aspect, whether that is at least an overdose or if not an overdose, then we're arresting somebody who's distributing it. It's concerning for officers who can't see or smell the potential danger lurking in the air. Two milligrams of fentanyl is enough is not to kill a particular person. And the smallest amount has put one of their own at risk. He began feeling nauseous, there was dizziness to him, and he was having trouble breathing. It's a day Corporal Cesar Garcia will never forget. An officer at DPD headquarters was examining an unknown drug that was seized. Turns out, it was fentanyl. It was definitely frightful for all of us. I mean, this is our family. This is one of our brothers here that went down. So it was, it was a huge awakening for us. An awakening that prompted a change in how the department handles drug investigations. We've gotten um, better gloves, the nitro gloves. They're a thicker mill and to, to wear and have them readily available for when they are handling those items. Uh, how we test them, uh, you know, not testing them necessarily in the field, but bringing them back to a controlled environment. The department has implemented other policies, like adding another officer to the investigation room, with one person monitoring as the other tests unknown drugs. The department says since 2020, they've seen a surge in the mixing of fentanyl and other drugs. Durham County reporting this year 133 opioid overdose emergency department visits from January to July. Last year, this time, that number was 192 overdoses, mostly impacting people ages 25 to 44. The good news is the officer who was exposed to fentanyl last year survived and didn't overdose. But the department is taking steps to minimize officers' exposure to the deadly drug. And that's why we are looking at always the, the best policy, the best procedure, and the best equipment that we can give our, our officers and our personnel in, in order to handle that.